Hi, and welcome to Card Shop at Argenta. I'm Julie with the Argenta Branch Library, and we are part of the Lehman Library System here in North Little Rock. And welcome to Card Shop. Um, if you've been following us along, you know that we make a lot of paper crafts and some greeting cards, and we just have a lot of fun with our virtual card shop. Uh, Sari has been teaching classes, and today we have a little bit of a surprise. We have a, a new teacher helping us, Kirsten, and she is a good friend of Sari and I both, and she's going to come for a few weeks in different um, couple months and teach us some of her card making as well. So today we are celebrating sunflowers. We're gonna have four different sunflower treats for you to make, and it's the end of the summer, so I hope you're out enjoying some of the sunflowers that are still out there um, in bloom. In your kit today, you are gonna get another glue stick. You're gonna get a pair of little pointed scissors, which every card maker needs uh, for helping with their card making. And remember that you can reserve your kit by calling the Argenta Branch Library. The number will be posted, and and it's one kit per person and we'll be happy to see you. You can come into the library to pick it up or we can still do curbside. We can still bring your kit out to you uh, curbside. Just give me a call and we'll reserve your kit. And Kirsten is now gonna come and show her skills in celebrating sunflowers. So welcome. Hi, I'm super excited to be hosting Card Shop at Agenda today and we are celebrating sunflowers. And for today, I have brought in four cards. Three of them are standard A2 cards, and this one here is a specialty card, which is called an easel card. It is perfectly a four and a quarter by four and a quarter in size and fits perfectly in a normal A2 envelope. So with this one, we are going to start working on our first project, which is the easel card. And here you see all the pieces you will need for your easel card. Okay, for this easel card, you will need the following tools. You start with an embossing tool and a ruler. And the first thing you do is you take your base card. I call it base card because that's where everything lines out with. So with your cutting mat right here, you have a perfectly perfect measurements. And you just, I'm just pushing it up just a little bit. You take your ruler and your embossing tool and you line it up and you make a score line at the four and a quarter mark. And don't push too hard on, on your embossing with your embossing tool on the cardstock, it does not need it. You just wanna make like a good line. You can see, and I hope you can see this on the camera. The next score line you make is at six and three eighths. And I made myself a little cheat sheet right there because it's kind of like a funky measurement. And you make another little score line, not too hard, just kind of push along and make a score line. Okay, I hope you can see it on the camera. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the card stock in half. And very important to see is the other score line, it needs to be folded backwards. And as you see, it lines up perfectly with the other score line. So your card should look like this. And to reinforce your score lines, I use what it's called a scoring tool. And what you can do is just push down on the score line with your scoring, uh, scoring tool to just give it, it gives it a nice little crease. You don't have to use this. You can use any kind of library card. You can use a bank card, a gift card, anything which is sturdy. Also do that with the other score line as well. So your card should look like this. So once you've done that, just set your piece aside. We don't need it for right now. And you have other pieces here. You have one which measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter, perfectly good square, which is a dark brown cardstock. And you are going to use your light blue cardstock, which measures four by four. And you're going to set this on top of that. And then you have a smaller beige cardstock, which measures three three-fourths by three three-fourths. And you set it right there. And as you see, it creates a beautiful little frame. 
We're just gonna leave this alone for right now too and just kind of set it aside for just a minute. Next, take your sunflower. You start out with this piece and then you have in your kit also this beautiful little lacy piece. You are, take your, take your um, glue stick and just very little, open it up and on your solid side of this lacy piece, just a little bit, apply your glue stick. And then you just kind of line it up with your sunflower, just so. And you glue it on top. Doesn't have to match perfectly. It's just gonna go ahead and gives it a little elegant look. The next thing you do, you have in your kit is one of those little, I call it little seed package. You're gonna take your glue stick again, apply glue, very little, doesn't have to be much. And you glue it on top of the sunflower just like that. Next, you also have been given two small leaves. And I'm gonna take my glue stick again, just apply a little bit of glue and adhere it right there on the top. And the other one, adhere a little bit of glue and on the bottom. And I like that you can kind of move this around a little bit. So, and that is your finished part of your sunflower. Set so this aside. Let's grab our perfectly squares. And we are going to, we are going to use, I prefer Tomboy because every person I have, every craft, crafter I've known has their preference of adherence. Mine happens to be Tomboy. There's no right or wrong in what kind of adhesive you are using. It's just a preference. I like it. I put a little bit of glue. You can use a glue stick, a little bit of that on there. And I'm going to line this nicely up and glue my light blue cardstock on top of my dark brown. Next, I'm going to use my beige cardstock, apply a little bit of glue, and we're going to be very sparing, using glue very sparingly, and we are going to line this up right here perfectly too. And you see, it makes a pretty frame. With that done, our sunflower, we are going to be using dimensionals. And we can use quite a few dimensionals for it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them up, move it on, move the sunflower over, and just stick dimensionals all over. A little bit on the leaves. Middle, oops. Side right here. Enough to where it kind of makes it, it gives it a dimensional look. That is what we are looking for. And of course they are very stubborn. And we pull the back off. And we are going to stick the sunflower right there in the middle. So let's set this aside and let's grab our base card back and now you see that we still need to go ahead and put something in the middle. So we have another beige cardstock piece. We adhere, which is a little bit bigger. We adhere a little bit glue. And we're going to place this right on the larger part of the book. Of this card. The next thing you have, you have like perfectly little rectangles right here. One has a message says thanks a bunch and it is smaller than the light blue one. We adhere this beige message card, message piece on top of this blue one. And then we are going to take this and 
adhere it. Just so on the very bottom of your beige card. And this will be the one which will give you the easel. So now we still have this part and it's not completed. So we're going to put glue right on this piece. And we adhere the perfect four and a quarter by four and a quarter we have just decorated to this. And there's your easel. And in your kit, you also find a couple of jewels. So you can go ahead and decorate the couple of jewels just like this on the side or on your sunflower, wherever you like it. And there's your finished piece. Okay. And these are the pieces we are using now for the second card. All right, for the next card, we have our base card, which measures, which measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is going to be a um, portrait card. So for this card, we are going to have our inside message board, which we are going to be gluing in here first. And again, I am using my glue, like I told you, glues, adhesives, it does not matter what you glue, there's no right or wrong, there's only preferences, and I just happen to like this one. So we glue our message one inside of our base card, and then close it up. And let's put the base card aside. So for this card, we are going to start using our blue, light blue cardstock, and we are going to use our beige cardstock. And we are going to glue the beige cardstock on top of the light blue one, just like this. And we wanna make sure we have it nicely in the middle so it's nicely framed up. And again, for this one here, once we push this aside, we have a sunflower cutout in your, and this one is really super easy because all you're gonna do is, you're going to take your, put a little bit of glue, and adhere it to your sunflower. You on the top, on the bottom, or you can go ahead and put two on top. It is your preference. I'm going to do it this way. And you also have a little seed package right here. And we are going to, not using this one, I'm sorry. We are going to use our glue stick for this one because it's such a small piece and you just put just a little bit on it and you glue this into the, cent to the center of your sunflower. There you go. Then we are going to take dimensionals again. I love dimensionals, I have to say. They are just easy, you just pop them on there and they are making this sunflower look so cute. Again, just a few, you don't have to have a whole lot. Take the backing off. And you bring back your light blue and beige and you set the sunflower just like in the middle, just like that. Bring back your base card and we are gluing this part to the front of our base card. Just a little bit of glue. And just leave, it a, leave a little bit space on top, just like that. Oops, I did get a little bit of glue on it. Next, you take your message piece and it says, let's celebrate you. Again, a little bit of glue. And that would go to the very bottom. Not quite all the way to the bottom, but somewhat just like that. 
So you have a little bit of space between your sentiment and a little bit of space for your top. Next thing, you are just gonna go ahead and take your jewels you have in your kit as well, and you just decorate however you want to decorate it. I just kind of just put them right lightly right here. And there you go. Okay, for our next card, these are all the pieces you need to create the next one. Okay, for the next project, you will need these um, colored pencils. I, I believe you were giving those colored pencil a while back in your kit, so I hope you still have those because they are making great sunflowers. We are going to start out with a beige card base and uh, this one you do not have to glue any message piece in it so i had already pre-scored it another four and a quarter by five and a half card card let's put this away and we're going to go ahead and next start with our dark brown cardstock which measure which measures four by five and a quarter Next, you are using your light blue cardstock and you just kind of lay it like this in the middle and as you see, it's the same length than the brown cardstock. And we can go ahead and adhere that already to our brown cardstock. Again, you can use your glue stick or any other adhesive you are comfortable with. Again, there is no right or wrong. So I'm going to put this in the middle. And I like this adhesive because you just kind of can move your cardstock piece around. And okay, so next you are going to use this message piece. It says, let's celebrate you. And we're going to put also glue. And we're going to adhere that on top of the light blue cardstock. And then you have in your, in your card kit, you have three sunflowers. They are already cut out. They are just not colored. That's where your colored pencils come in. You will color these. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just show you um, how to adhere them. I have just used a little bit of glue and I adhered one just on top. And I have used another one to just use a little bit of glue and just kind of came a little bit lower on this one. And the next sunflower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do again, use dimensionals because I'm just a super fan of dimensionals. And I just put like a couple on there. Not many need to be put on there. And we're gonna go ahead and take the backing off. And then we're just gonna kind of come around and just, oops, just kind of set these, this one on top of the other two and just cover up the in-between. And so this is now decorated. Now we're gonna take our card base back and we are going to adhere the finishing touches to our card. And as you see, that concludes our next card. Okay, and for our last card, we have, these are the pieces we are going to be using for that. All right, our last card I was going to show you guys is going to be another beige card base. And this one is going to be landscaped, as you see. So we're gonna put that aside and we are going to take our light blue cardstock for this one and our dark blue cardstock. And again, we are going to be adhering a little bit of glue. And we are going to glue the dark brown on top of the light brown cardstock. Just like that. 
And then you were giving a message piece, it thanks a bunch, and it's already been stamped for you. And it has like four little sunflower stamps right there on it. And all you do is glue this piece on top of your brown cardstock. And then you just take your jewels and you just decorate, oops, that just moved a little bit and we don't want that. And you just use your jewels and decorate however you want to. I use my fingers for it. Some people have special tools for it. It really doesn't matter. Take your card base back. And again, we have it, this time it's landscaped. We put a little bit of glue on the light blue cardstock and adhere that just to the middle, kind of center it of your card. And there's your finished touches. And as you see, these are your completed projects. And thank you for joining me and I see, will see you again in October. Well, now that was fun. Thank you so much, Kirsten, for showing us about celebrating sunflowers. I wanna thank you again for joining us for Card Shop at Argenta. Remember to call to reserve your kit and we'll have them ready for you inside the library or at curbside. And if you're watching this, you're obviously watching this through virtual resources. So be sure to like us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, hit the bell so that you always get our notices uh, when a new video appears. And again, thank you for joining Card Shop at Argenta.